On this day, 20 years ago, nearly 3,000 men and women lost their lives in the September 11th terrorist attacks. Four of them were Minnesotans. Gordy Amis Jr. and Gary Keckler were in the Twin Towers. Tom Burnett Jr. was on United Flight 93, and he was one of the passengers who heroically fought back. Master Sergeant Max Bielke died in the Pentagon attack. More than 100 other Minnesotans lost their lives in the war that followed. WCCO's Caroline Cummings was at the state capitol today as people paused to remember them. The ring of the bell is both a sound and a symbol. The echo of September 11th still with us 20 years later, a sign that we haven't forgotten who they were. Thomas Edward Burnett Jr. Mariah Jacobson read the name of a man she never knew, but is her link to the tragedy. And knew in that instant that I'd gained him, but I would never be able to see him again. Minnesota native Tom Burnett was one of the heroes who took back Flight 93 from hijackers and averted another catastrophe. That plane crashed in rural Pennsylvania, sparing so many more lives of those on the ground. Burnett, Jacobson would come to learn later, was her biological father who had given her up for adoption when she was an infant. My life changed on September 11, 2001. At the foot of the state capitol Saturday, Jacobson told a crowd of dozens her father's story and how it had become so much of her own. But even if I can't see him, I can feel him. Each time I need to muster an extra ounce of courage or whenever I'm struggling to find light in the darkness, I feel his encouraging hand on my shoulder. Minnesotans and our state's leaders came to St. Paul to remember people like Tom Burnett who died that day, but also those who paid the ultimate sacrifice in the 20 years that have followed, like those who fought in our nation's longest war. His life book ended at year 21, but not before he gave up his future to make the world better for people halfway across the globe. One of Burnett's last words on earth were telling his wife that he was going to do something to fight back against the attackers. And those words have left an indelible mark on Jacobson. Well, it's become a very important message uh, for me over the last um, 17 or 18 years. And she hopes that message stays with others too. I hope you're able to find the humanity in your fellow citizens. And when faced with the choice, I hope you'll choose to do something. Caroline Cummings. Thank you. WCCO 4 News.